So I've got this new camera, a DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Um, I bought it because I want to be able to use it for this trip we're going to um, to Hawaii in about a month. Um, and I just thought this would be the perfect camera to take with us. It's small, compact, doesn't take much in our bags because we only want to take carry-on. And so I wanted to pick this thing up and test it out and see kind of how it, how it performs and see how I do as far as uh, vlogging because I've never vlogged before. Um, I'm not a big fan of watching vlogging necessarily, but I wanted to get this camera and take this with us for kind of the experience of putting it up and creating something for like my wife and I to watch back. Um, you know, anytime we want to go back to those memories, because I don't know how often we'll be able to get back to Hawaii. So I just thought this would be a cool opportunity. So essentially, this is my uh, test run of trying it out, trying out the camera, trying out the microphone, um, trying out this whole vlogging thing. So um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of take you guys with me through my day. Um, today is Saturday, the 24th, I think it is, of February. Um, yeah, the 24th. Um, so what we're going to be doing today, I have, uh, I'm going to do a little cleaning around my office first. As you can see, um, the office is, eh, it's, it's, I mean, it's relatively clean. Um, most things are probably put back where they should be, but I'm going to do a little tidying up and kind of just get things really nice and neat, kind of just a, a nice weekend reset if you will um and then we will be uh i have to color grade some footage um of a little short film that i made uh with some friends a couple weeks ago um so i got to color grade that today and then i'm going to do some kind of just um content planning and uh work on some transitions for this uh sports podcast i'm doing the soccer podcast so um a semi busy afternoon um, and then after that or consecutive or continuously while I'm doing that um, it's a big day as far as soccer goes so we'll be watching some soccer while we're getting these things done um, the wife is at work this afternoon she's gonna be at work till 2 30 I believe it is um, and then she's also going to be um, doing some nannying later on tonight so it's pretty much gonna be me and this little guy today oh let's little flip around this little guy all day long, uh, just hanging out in the office and getting shit done. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. And I'll kind of just gotta take you guys with me through the whole thing. All right, let's get to it. I've also got this active track that I'm gonna try out now. I had it sitting static, but I wanna try this out while I'm uh, setting up my desk and whatnot, cause I'm gonna be going back and forth over to the workbench and grabbing things. So we'll see how this works. Hopefully it works out pretty well. I was testing it earlier and it did a pretty decent job, but I was mostly staring directly at it. So let's see how it does when I am not purposely staring directly at it. Oh, oh we got some movement, we got some movement, nice. Um, yeah, let's get this all ready to go, set up to get going on some editing, um, yeah, 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 I just gotta find a place to put this DJI box, that's not just shoving it into the abyss, um, I might have to just shove it into the abyss for right now, I'll put it down there for right now. I'll get back to it, I promise. Uh, put my notepad away and my pen. That will be.
be used for the game tomorrow night. Oh, see, and see what it's done. It's complete. I went out of the field of view, and so it's it's lost me. Interesting, huh? Well, so that's one flaw to keep in mind if you're trying to go way off axis, or it seems like it was when it's tilting the gimbal head down is when it lost me. So you kind of probably have to stay in a relatively, I don't know if you can go one three to 360 around it. I'll have to try that out, but definitely if you're trying to go too low for the gimbal head to tilt down, it seems like it's gonna lose you pretty quickly and then get stuck. So you're gonna have to like re-enable the face tracking, but uh, that's not necessarily the biggest deal in the world. Okay, camera and light stand. I'm gonna put these away for now. I don't really have a good place to put these is the thing. Oh, see it lost me. Hey, I'm right here. <laughs> it seems like maybe it's the lamp. I'll have to see when I'm looking at the footage, maybe it's the lamp that it's getting blocked by or if it's just getting kind of lost because I'm far away and I'm wearing a hat and I'm turning my head and whatnot. We'll see. I don't have a place put these two things when I'm not using them. Um, like I could, obviously the camera, I might just, cause like the camera, I have this cool quick release system set up um, with these little small rig uh, ball heads with a quick release plate on them. Um, so like I can just easily take this off and put it down here in the camera storage bin, but the light and the, oh, see it did it again. That's so funny. It really doesn't like to bend down, huh? Hey, I'm right here. And I'm right here. It really does not like to bend down. It granted, I have it pretty high, so. Oh, I wonder if, so if I recenter the gimbal and then track myself. We'll see if that has any difference to it because I had it tilting down to catch the static shot, but you know, maybe it makes a difference, maybe it doesn't. But yeah, it really doesn't like bending down too much. See there, it caught me, but I don't know. It's all a, a work in progress, a learning experiment. I guess I'll just set this. I mean, I could always put it. It's probably gonna lose me, but hey, hello. Yeah, see, it doesn't like to go. It does only go, seems like, kind of in a 180. I don't think it goes a full 360. I think I want to find a better home for it. Um, but we'll see if that's possible. I'm not sure if it will be possible, to be honest with you. I might just have to put it right here for right now um, until I find a better place. I also have a lot of bills and documents that I need to sort through and put them in their appropriate filing cabinet. Um, but that is a, eh, hello, uh, that is a chore for another day, probably. Um, because right now I kind of want to just get this office tidied up and cleaned up, dusted a little bit. Um, and then we'll see how much time I have after that. Because then I got to get to those projects like I mentioned. Get those done today. Because I have been slacking the color grade on that uh, short film um, for a week or two now. Sorry, I mean it is what it is. I'm sure you guys know who are creators. Uh, sometimes you're super stoked to get something done. Sometimes life happens and then you kind of lose a little bit of that uh, momentum to want to continue with a project. And it's not that I don't want to continue with the project. It's just that um, other things have taken my time and I just haven't been able to get back into that groove to get the color grade done. So we're going to get that done today, regardless of what else. Um, so that's why the filing of bills might have to wait to a different day. I guess that's one of the main flaws of this thing so far I'm noticing is that if you want to step out of it and do a lot of bending, like side to side movement seems really, really good and really responsive, but like bending down or probably going higher, um, the gimbal has just not, it doesn't have a lot of tilt range it seems like. So um, one thing to keep in mind, I guess, as you are using this for your filming needs.
finished doing, I think it was 147. So, basically, what I want to do is, I've been following a plan for like six weeks now. It involves like speed work, long run, stuff like that. It's actually an app for iPhone. So I'm taking the dog for a walk. So this is going to be the perfect opportunity to try out the ND filters that I bought for this. Um, I bought a four pack of, uh, I believe they're daytime uh, ND, like the four pack it's called from Freewell is called like the daylight or something like that. Um, but I'm gonna try these out and see how it is. Right now I have the ND64 on because um, it's pretty bright out here right now. Um, uh oh, we got, I don't know if you can see, kind of a giant pit of mud uh, in the backyard right now, which is not ideal. Um, definitely gonna have to clean off his paws before we get back inside. But uh, anyways, we move. So here's what it look like, looks like in direct sunlight. What do we think, is the 64 the right choice? I think right now we could probably even go for something a little bit stronger. Like, I'm in the shadow, obviously, because of my hat, but overall, what do we think? Is it too blown out? At least on this little screen, it looks like maybe we need a little bit more. But anyways, we'll see. We'll check the footage and see how it looks. Hopefully, it's uh, doing a good job. So I just got done with that for now. Um, I had a little bit of vlogging I still needed to do. Um, I forgot on a couple of scenes. So I got that done. Um, I'm gonna take a little break and play some FIFA. And then I'm gonna watch one of the games that's on next. And then I'll probably get back to the editing um, after uh, my wife gets home for a little bit and we spend a little time together before she has to go off. So probably when she goes off to do some of that nanny, nannying Later on, uh, I'll get back on there and finish up the color grading I meant to do earlier um, and finish up a couple other things. I've already got most of the shots for today um, on this vlog on the timeline. Um, so, got a good amount of stuff done. Okay, so, update. We are now heading to the grocery store because um, I wasn't planning on leaving today, but I looked in the fridge and I realized we really didn't have anything to eat. So. Uh, I was planning on just going to the grocery store tomorrow while we go to the gym, but uh, I guess we'll be doing that tonight. So um, I'm just going to be going to the grocery store and is it too? Oh, I thought I could put it down right there. Apparently I can't. Um, yeah, is it too dark in here with the, now the ND is actually working out pretty well. Um, so yeah, we're going to. Go to the grocery store, just get some groceries real quick. Just a quick trip into town. Um, we live so far away from town now that like, I'm speaking like we're like Amish or something like that, but it's just kind of a hassle. We're like 30 minutes away. So we typically try to plan our trips to town and not uh, make, you know, random trips to and back. Cause that's, you know, an hour of driving isn't necessarily the most fun thing to do. Um, but anyway, so yeah, quick trip get some groceries, come back, uh, finish working on editing, and uh, watch some more soccer. So that's what we're going to do.
See you later. Peace. So just got home. We're going to be unloading the groceries right now. And um, yeah, finished working on those edits. And I wanted to see how this thing's doing. So we have it in the low light mode now. Um, obviously it's dark outside. Sun just went down. And you know what? If this is anything like it actually is. Man, this is pretty good. I mean, it's pretty dark. Like, it's... There's some, you know, ambient practical lights hanging around. But overall, it's pretty dang dark. I mean, granted, there is a full moon, so maybe that helps. But, yeah, I'm very impressed with the low light capabilities. And you know what? It's cool how it has, like, a... Uh, a nice blue hour like it's really capturing that blue hour glow and I don't know if this is all gonna turn out to look completely different once I uh, put the footage in the premiere well hi there future Dalton here I was just editing the footage and yes it is very different as you will have just seen um, there is a lot of noise and the screen on the DJ Osmo is very deceiving, especially if you have a brightness all the way up to 100. So I would just keep that in mind that uh, you want to try to probably set your exposure. It gives you ranges as far as ISO. And it's kind of nice where you can have ranges of like 50 to 200, 50 to 400, 50 to 1260, uh, stuff like that. Um, I will have to check and see what the actual exposure was on those clips outside um but whatever it is i'd keep it probably below like a thousand if you can if it's still too dark maybe don't go past like six thousand i'm guessing it was probably pretty high because it's pretty dark out there but um yeah kind of the moral of that story is just don't go off of what the screen is showing you because the screen it looked awesome and really crisp and clear but when you actually get it into the timeline um, there's a lot of noise in low light mode, especially if you're really pushing it, uh, pushing the ISO as hard as it can go. So keep that in mind and let's get back to the video. Or if this is actually how it looks, but man, like, look at that, look at that nice blue hour glow behind me. And we're not even getting like the actual, like, look at that. That is sick. So I don't know, man, if that's what we're talking about here, if that's what we're getting out of this thing for low light, I am very impressed. And, you know, I know a lot of people don't necessarily like when the camera gives off a certain color cast. Um, but, hey man, if it looks good, it looks good. And I would generally say, yeah, give me more flexibility and post give me as much dynamic range as possible but um hey it looks good it looks good and also i'm just noticing right now that it automatically set the recording to 4k 30 uh which maybe leads me to believe even though i set up all my settings in the normal video mode maybe we have to set up the video settings independently in the other like the low light and the uh, panoramic and all those um, and maybe what we're getting right now is some kind of like color profile on it which is making that blue really stand out or this camera's just sick and we're getting some incredible blue light footage blue hour footage blue light would be very different <laughs> blue light would be a uh, very, very different from what we're getting right now. Anyways, that's groceries done. So, um, man, that's just so, like, look at that, dude. That is, that is cool. That's some good shit. That looks beautiful. All right, well, enough of that, enough of the rambling. I'm going to go unload these groceries and uh, eat some dinner and then I will catch you guys back inside when I'm editing some more video. Okay, so I did get it figured out with the low light mode. You do have to go in and set your settings um, in low light independent of how they're set in any of the other modes you have them set in. 
So I just went in, quickly switched it to 4K24. It only gives you the options of 4K or 1080, which is fine. I've been recording in uh, 2.7K for everything else, just only to see what the file sizes would be. I'd probably go 4K um, if the file sizes aren't too outrageous, which it seems they're not too bad, so I might just switch over to 4K anyways. But anyways, so yeah, uh, just made a couple adjustments with the settings, and now, you know, we're back up and running, good to go. Everything's looking sick. Um, I haven't put the footage on the computer yet to see what the blue light looked like, but I'm gonna do that here in a second. But um, I wanted to get those set up. And then also, like, look how cool. So I'm watching the RSL and uh, St. Louis SC game. And I know I'm technically supposed to be an RSL fan, but like the vibe, the pink vibes of St. Louis's city park and their kits and everything just is, it's so nice that I just kind of had to get my own spin on it <laughs> while I'm watching the game here in the office. So if you think that's like cheating or whatever, that's fine. Whatever. Um, I'll take it. It's cool vibes in here. So we're going to continue watching the rest of the game. It's halftime right now. And I'm going to upload that footage on here and get some editing done with that and with the um, color grading project I was working on earlier. So I'm going to get that done and uh, we'll probably call it a night after that. It's getting, I mean, relatively late, late compared to uh, most people, not very late, but we uh, we wake up so early that like by 7.30, 8 o'clock, we're about ready to pass out. So <laughs> it's, it's almost that time now. So anyways. We're going to hop over to the computer and get some stuff done, and then we'll probably check out for the night. 